Tony. So let's let's go over the paper by uh, Mead. And Mead may need to unmute the microphone because there could be questions to him. Yeah, I'm, I'm good now. So um, Yuvun is asking, I, I, I believe it is a, uh, a clarification. Is this uh, uh, work deals with one specific polymer or uh, any anything including this fructose uh, component? Using to a polymer system. Oh, well. Wow. It's one polymer system, okay. but how to clarify that in the paper, uh, I'll, I'll address, I'll look into it. How to make that less ambiguous. Okay. Um, hypothesize two scenarios. Um, do you, Do you plan, are you, are there intentions to promise a proof of this hypothesis? Well, hold on, that's specific. Did you test it? Uh, yes, I mean, that's literally what we were doing with the differing trajectories, so, okay. Okay, yeah, that's a point I can make there. Something like this. Yep, uh, I can do that, yep. You want would it address your question? Okay. Um, under molecule, you, understand, you, you probably imply polymer, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So Aaron is asking about the intensity of laser field. Uh, is it something critically important for these results? Is it uh, just accompanying information about uh, experiment? Um, like, yeah, it's, a, it's accompanying information just to specify, you know, the intensity. But which parameter in your simulations um, corresponds to intensity of the light? Um. I can look into it to sp find specifically what it is. And you may, uh, right now, as we speak, ask uh, you will for profile. If you if you are asking gently, maybe he will answer. Is it just a Rabi frequency? It's just frequency. That's it. So was that in car? Uh, did you did you got which frequency? Well, you said all I heard was frequency, and which I'm just. Did, I, you hear, did you hear well which frequency? No, I did not. Nope. So then, ask you one more detail, if, uh, because we, we may uh, miss an important detail. So what? basically, we have the Rabi frequency, right? In the in car round, you have five point two seconds. Then you okay. Five, yep. You have another five from the seconds, so five plus five is ten. For the frequency, you need to do the inverse, right? With mm -hmm. this rapid okay. frequency, we can calculate the uh, energy per photon, and with this energy divided by the, I guess, absorption cross section for each molecule. We basically we can estimate the uh, laser power. So uh, okay, yeah, yeah, many, many things. Uh, so 
here is uh, one of the main uh, practical equations. Uh, so in your paper, you, you are writing that occupation is changing between zero and one, right? Yep. So how often does this occupation changes? How, how often the code changes the occupation? Yeah, I, so I get the concept, everything's there. And you're saying specifically how often uh, it's, Right. My mind immediately goes to like where exactly in like the files that we were implementing would have this. So like the Python code, um, I don't know the exact number by any means or where to find it, but I understand the concept of, of what he connected between the Rabi frequency and uh, the energies involved. It's just where is that defined is, is actually something I need to find. I need to look into. I, th I think it is uh, uh, 14... Uh, in the in the in car, telling how long the dynamics in ground and how long the dynamics in the excited is, is going. Okay, yeah, point zero eight two one eight four two one. <laughs> so uh, I see that right now. In present version, it could be uh, like five or maybe ten femtoseconds, which is uh, an exaggeration, uh, quite high intensity. Uh, even if you plan uh, to hide this information from the paper, maybe it's good to be prepared to discuss it. Okay, more. Okay. Um, well, this, you know, just obtaining our let's say dimer molecule, I'm getting a podium, but then you're saying during the TDSMD actual trajectories, it would be quite different because that's actually when we're perturbing it by light. Um, so the, uh, the question of error is, is, is very is very deep or it, it's provoking and, and stimulating. Uh, in this work, uh, we didn't try to explore different intensities of light. In addition to selecting different uh, excitation energies, one can vary intensity of light and see if it will uh, result in different products. Yep, yep. So uh, I'm not sure that um, mentioning intensity of the laser uh, um, is relevant here. Maybe one, one can move it into the introduction. Okay. Because in, in this work, uh, it, is, it is something different and, and it is a uh, thin ice to work on. Okay. Uh, Aaron, are you satisfied with discussion launched by your question? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my main thought was that if you discuss intensity, that could lead into like many body arguments. Right. But I can. Then, then. Uh, it just one, provokes more arguments. Yes, one can go into more than single excitation, simultaneous excitation of several electrons. Yes. And if uh, Sergei Tretiak will be reviewer of the paper, he will place this uh, criticism uh, for sure. Uh, we are arguing for uh, on, on this subject for last um, eighteen years. So you want to ask him, uh, um, how are you doing this basic math? If there are two models and three transitions, how does it match together? Um, yeah, let me read that one moment.
sessions which are both judging me and show that absorption onset occurred. Um, uh, the okay, homo lumo transition. I think this, this uh, one is homo lumo, right? Oh no, there uh, here 2.1. And two zero and here two point twenty. This is yes. It looks like three transitions of three energies for two transitions. So what I was getting at, I think in the uh, we were kind of highlighting the onset of transition, which is I think it's different than the homolumal band gap, and that's what I was kind of discussing. Was so that first section that you've highlighted is saying our. Um, Homo minus two, lumo plus two orbital pair is higher than the homo lumo transition energy of 2.5 cents. And then the next statement was just, it was, I, I don't know if it was absolutely needed, but the idea was the absorption spectra of both dry dimer and wet monomer showed that the onsets occurred at 2.1 and 2, meaning I just said the onset, not necessarily the. Oh, you. you the, I think if uh, adding the word onset will fix uh, the question. Well, well, what I said was, yeah, if you look at its figure, it's right above, it's the blue one, I believe. Um, uh, so um, oh, the uh, figure two and figure three must co correspond. And uh, what you are showing in uh, figure three, um, let me try to enlarge it. So, I'm sorry to ask a provoking uh, question with a suspicion, but what are you measuring the distance between edges of these profiles or between the tops of these profile, profiles? I had uh, measured the onset, which would actually be the bottom, no. as you can see. No, no, please don't. Okay. It is okay. uh, uh, the shape of the of the profile is uh, very artificial, and we we adding it artificial, and, and it is not an observable. So mm -hmm. when you just literally measure energy difference between uh, orbitals. Otherwise, it uh, it creates a confusion. Uh, if I redecide and change the width parameters, then uh, your method will give different value of. Uh, Gap, which is not, not right. So plus, uh, please try to fix it both in figure and in text. Uh, okay, so this particular figure, I was trying to, so, so the values I should be showing should not even be coming from, I was getting them from the spectrum file in this case, so I could obtain those numbers, 2.1 and 2.0. Right. I, I would yeah. just uh, forward these numbers into mm. into this picture. Okay. Yep. That that clarifies it. Uh, uh, okay. You would would you be satisfied with this change? Okay. So yep. I can do that. That was a good find. Okay. So, uh, do you use DFT minus D3? Question for you. Is that the basis set? Uh, okay. <laughs> no. 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 So, uh, there is additional keyword uh, that one typically, that one may want to add into all calculations. And you may check, maybe it is there if you inherited uh, uh, input files from, uh, from you. But um, in order to speak about uh, hydrogen bonding, one needs to double check that uh, the dispersion forces this, uh, are explicitly used. If one uses very basic generic in-cars, 
just blind use of, of WASP. It is uh, it is skipped there, and uh, there are options to include uh, dispersion forces that uh, help for adequate description, adequate uh, analysis of, of hydrogen bonds. Okay. So maybe. So no. Or maybe the dissipative. Okay, okay, I'll talk to Dr. Hunt. Yeah. If, if you do use this G3, then you can brag about it. It's uh, most credit of the person who uh, derived these equations and added them into VASP, but uh, if you use it, it's like modern and fashionable and helpful. Okay. Uh, so, do you um, do you understand this question of what you want? Well, I would like to make a comment before answering this one, which is previously we talked about the opaque and transparent, which I had omitted, and then now you're saying that reflection is going to be different than orange, which is absorption of orange. Okay. Uh, I don't necessarily see the difference. One is absorbing nothing or little, while the other is. A, or, excuse me. White is absorbing almost nothing, where orange is absorbing obviously everything except orange. So well, I don't know why that is apples to oranges. Um, you could, I, I believe one can fix it uh, really quick with just a couple of additional words. So when when just should uh, should separately speak about. Uh, opaque and transparent, and then uh, um, absor absorbing in one or another uh, spectral range. Uh, because um, so, if, if one is doing experiment, then uh, to th th there are no absorption experiment that you signify it by its color. Uh, okay. White color means uh, it is typically for powder uh, experiments for solids when the light is scattered. So it's uh, if a reviewer will be from experimental community, uh, you you better combine uh, two statements: one about opaque or transparent, and second about at which uh, frequency it absorbs. Uh, you will, would it make Wh which frequency? Uh, which frequency it? it absorbs? Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. I was trying to connect the dots between the experimental information to this, but if that is bad to actually say a color, then I can uh, get yeah, change. Because what we're looking for is the redshift, right? And so. So, I can uh, emphasize that redshift in different ways. You want is helping uh, your paper to avoid unnecessary criticism. So uh, there could okay. be uh, synthetic chemists who just verbally describe visual appearance of substance, and there could be reviewers who are professional spectroscopists who are well versed in different spectroscopies, and, and then they would be critical to uh, this. Yep, yep. I can address. That, like you had suggested, by you and uh, the way, but. address. So, um, there is a an opinion of of you that uh, there are too many details, and some of them may be not supported uh, by uh, all results. So the interpretation is too detailed. And um, I may uh, disagree. I, I, I would accept the risk of having something potentially wrong, but uh, give it more details. But uh, we can figure it out as, as, as we further edit. And second practical question um, from you and from me, what are you trying to relax uh, snapshots and measure bond lengths to tell which of the bonds are double and which are single? 
you know, part of the assumptions I made was, well, I shouldn't say assumptions. I did not measure the double bonds or if it's a single bond. So what you see is just copy paste from the original molecule to this. So. Okay, okay, uh, I, I fully understand, but uh, then one can make a disclaimer that uh, it is a human eye interpretation of the reaction because uh, okay. just to avoid reviewers criticizing us for uh, telling that this bond is single and this one is double because this information is possible to compute and it is mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. you. We, we just... Uh, uh, maybe too much for, for one paper, but it's good. Um, okay. there, is, there is a mm, sequence of questions from myself, and I apologize for making changes as, as, as we go. Uh, I was stuck for like 15 minutes on, on this uh, sentence because um, I, I needed to wake up and understand what is lowercase uh, Romans are. Uh, the, the word phenomenon is, is, is not clear to, to me. Now, now I see that likely you mentioned process or event, right? I mentioned processes or events. Is that what you asked? Yes. Uh, I, I, would you confirm that under word phenomenon, you mean process? I am highlighting... I'm going to use the word uh, just for a different word than phenomenon. I will say I am highlighting an event that occurred in our snapshot. Okay. Okay. Um, and then um, please feel free to r remove m my suggestions, but it looks like in, uh, in the next uh, couple of pages, you were redundantly repeating the same procedure twice. First, you explained the processes or events that you see on the snapshot of figure five by human words. And then you were uh, interpreting the same events by chemical equations. Yep. I so wonder, one... I wonder, yeah. would it be possible to unify and uh, just combine these two fragments in this uh, complementary way. So like telling process that one does see in figure five as a snapshot and then immediately provide the chemical equations that does interpret it. Then go to the next snapshot or two snapshots. Uh, okay. Right I see, I see. Uh, because uh, okay. passion so yes. is limited and uh, they can be irritated to read about the same thing two times. Understandable. I see what you are suggesting. Uh, you would, would, would you uh, okay this suggestion or you are critical to it? Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you. And, and uh, Meet, please double check. I was in a rush and I may slightly offset this uh, explanations and equations. So um, I, there could be technical errors in, in placing. Okay. And uh, you know, after you, you, you do, maybe at the next iteration, we look together uh, to check that this section is clear. And I don't, do not see anyone else uh, interfering in this. Uh, we are of Here are where the, uh, in second part, they, they are moved. And then when we go to figure six, I, I remember there were uh, comments from, from, from other group members. Um, uh, also, I, I did notice that your figure captions are quite brief. 
uh, please do not feel a pressure to be brief in Hebrew captions. If you want to define or say something, it is very uh, relevant to, uh, to have it wrong. And some okay. lazy readers may skip messages in, in the main paper, but uh, you can enforce them to read your message by reading figure captions. So what you say. Um, Aaron needs your teaching about computational synthesis. Is it a common word? Well, I, uh, generation of you know the molecule in their system. That was the mentality I had. Okay. So, so synthesis does it mean something different? Okay. Model building. Model building uh, rather than uh, computational assisted design. Okay. Right. You, you're not. Yep. You don't mean computational assisted design. Yep. Okay. Uh, um, it's, Amir thinks that uh, these abbreviations are not defined. That there, that yes, they were. Um, if they were defined before, then one can uh, use abbreviations. Yep. Uh, you uh, is asking uh, what what are you comparing? So more more specifically, just general trends or specific observable? Specific observables. Which observables? So, so the recovery of FDCA. Um, as no, well no. as. No 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 no. no. Let's just no no. You are you are speaking as synthetic chemist. If you are speaking as physical chemist, like which observable, like uh, uh, wavelength of absorption or. Uh, peak in the mass spectrum? Well, because I'm I'm limiting myself and I'm saying the comparison with experimental mm -hmm. findings, um, I can't compare mass spec because we don't have anything to compare to. Then, then uh, you, only what you, you can just tell general trends or uh, events, uh, just try to um, Use less ambitious statements or less. less okay. uh, you is it what you, you meant? Okay. Okay. Uh, well, it's a matter of taste. I, I would say it is two picoseconds rather than 20. Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought it's 20,000 femtoseconds, right? So, um, maybe it's your your choice to uh, accept okay. the uh, Electron density observed. Yep, maybe. Okay. Yep. This one I actually had a question on the highlight. My highlighted thing, um, Doctor Killen. So it, oh, stuff in yellow, green, and red. And it's so like this low transition energy allows for ease of electron hopping to occur. How to define light sources with low transition? Okay, uh, I was kind of addressing an issue you had presented, which was that parentheses information. And uh, I was trying to see if my verbiage was okay to be used here. I do not see big big problems, uh, but uh, through uh, additional refining, maybe we will, we will improve it. Okay, okay. Light source, uh, find light source, it, it looks like more practical engineering. Uh, more technical, more scientific would be just find a uh, range of frequencies uh, which facilitates the de degradation. Okay. Um, and in terms of this. So you want to ask why so uh, large uh, focus is um, given to um, 
conversion of trajectories to mass spectrum with periodic boundary conditions. What do you mean it can be easily addressed? Because if we're talking about, I mean, if we're using either which way, if we're using the periodic box, there would be an instance where, you know, hydrogen from one side would be you know, across the periodic box to another, which the distance would increase significantly. To move to, yes, that's fine. I can put it to SI. Uh, I, I do not have decision. I'm, I'm fine either way. Uh, but uh, maybe through additional refining, making uh, paper more dry and concise may help you get it through with more enthusiasm of the viewers. Um, oh, okay. So we won't suggest a move at least this technical details. Okay. According. Um, so, Yvon, would you please um, comment uh, on this, on, the, on, on your uh, suggestion? How, what would be the best way to uh, speak about it? I guess this is just my previous comments about the color, color of white. Okay, so you're, you're not objecting the overall um, trend. You, you require to be more uh, detailed and specific. So like to, to discriminate between uh, transparent and opaque on one side and uh, having different absorption wavelengths. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think the the rest the rest is location B reliable methodology simulating photo radiation. So. Um, Amir is um, quite critical. So, Mir, do, do you have something to, to answer him? Did you address any specific experimental challenge which you can mention here? So, I'm going to spit out the things that come to my head, and we can kind of go over it. As one is, uh, from looking at you guys' previous papers, I don't believe, and maybe I could be wrong, did you guys use TDSMD methodology in wet environments before? You Is this the first time you... Did you use the TDESMD methodology in wet environments before? Or is this new using wet environments? Because this I could be... I think it is new. Okay, so like this could be an example of... This is an experimental challenge or attempt that we, you know, went for. Additionally, um, so with the you, math, you did prove that this methodology uh, is adequately describing a uh, wider range of experimental conditions. Yes, yeah. And please continue, sorry for interrupting. Um, and then additionally, I know with this mass spec, it seems to be always under development, and, and so. Uh, like for example, when we had shifted from just the one periodic box to ten periodic boxes, you know, combined, uh, you know, that could be an additional let's say challenge that we had tried to overcome to okay. minimize the uh, averaging out of the improper fragments. I don't know how to word it properly. Yes, yes. Avoid artificialness. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amir, are you satisfied? Yep. Thank you. Uh, we okay. have 12 minutes for uh, three more documents. Uh, and, and then I, I do have a class uh, to be uh, 
so uh, letter by Yvonne. So I am impressed by a very brave style. So it is not non usual, but maybe for high impact factor, it, it will be better to start from uh, main message rather than putting formal introduction. So uh, um, I will suggest some, some verbal verbal things. Um, this paragraph is all correct, but maybe too long uh, because it focuses primarily on the experimental results. And maybe my patient was, was expired too early because next uh, paragraph does tell about theory impact. Um, I'm, I'm not criticizing, I'm just sharing the uh, impression of, of, of reading. And um, dynamics of, of reactions and non adiabatic is uh, correct, but the maybe add the photo reactions here because it is more challenging. And uh, we need to uh, sell this product with the highest possible price. Mm. Okay, yeah, it, 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 it's, a, it's a great letter. Thank you. Thank you for composing it. Uh, let's look for the letter by Helen. I'm a little lost. Uh, who they? And um, I think it is just a way to uh, verbal formulations. And in the next statement, this uh, mm, support of defect tolerance is a really strong statement that uh, gives some probability to throw this paper quite high. So maybe uh, we can try to throw it, uh, discuss some uh, high impact journals, and if if it will be declined, we will just uh, easily to uh, step down and, and submit it to, to more technical. But uh, if this uh, defect tolerance is um, pushed forward and highlighted, we can select only uh, experimental uh, reviewers. And they would be they, they they could be quite favorable for for the paper because it is what um, is important not only for boring theory but for wider community of, of experimentalists. So it it, ha it has some call for uh, broader audience. So we can use some top scientists like. Michael Gressel uh, and try uh, if, if, if he would accept to read it at least. The, the statement of uh, bright and dark traps is good and I'm, I'm, not, com com uh, I'm not sure with myself is it good as is, or maybe this statement can be emphasized? Like, is it is it intuitive or counterintuitive? Um, uh, you may may ask your your opinion. Uh, is it strong enough, or one one can tell that it is something like groundbreaking and counterintuitive? It's good to me. Okay, so maybe maybe keep keep as is. And another thing uh, that uh, is it, it, it's question to everyone. Is it uh, typical when um, intensity is low but quantum yield is high? Should we uh, buzz a lot about it, or or it is just one of the one of the results? From from computational point of view, it's it's not a a big surprise. It, things happen. Uh, just it, it's a balance between radiative and non-radiative. But uh, is it often seen in in nature from just your common um, common sense? 
Yeah, I guess they would go hand in hand. Okay. With decreased efficiency is decreased like intensity. I have an example, uh, another example where, where it happens. Of, uh, um, firefly bugs that, that are uh, phosphorescent in, in the dark. The intensity is uh, low, but uh, quantum use is high. Hmm. Maybe it's, it's. I guess that would that would be more of like a through like a like a like how fast the luminescence happens. Mm -hmm. Like the throughput from like initial excitation to the eventual luminescence. Okay. Uh, Yuan, what do you what do you think? Uh, one should be conservative and keep a skiff, or should one emphasize more? I guess maybe conservative. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And. Uh, I have for forgotten uh, another component that uh, we all should think uh, about uh, better before submission, but it is okay to add later after submission. Uh, by the time of acceptance, uh, all journals today need a table of contents figure, which is uh, oversimplified two by two graphical summary of the paper. So uh, there is no rush, but um, just please start thinking about it. Okay. And uh, I did glance through uh, Aaron's paper and, and, and figures. Uh, and I, I think th this one is exactly what, what we discussed. So the intensity is uh, order of magnitude uh, different, but quantum, uh, quantum mute is uh, approximately the same. Um, I'm not sure, maybe this figure is, is uh, a candidate for table of contents combined with the some image of the quantum dot with the project vision. Okay, um, we, we need to finish in, uh, in a couple of minutes. Uh, we do have tentative candidate for um, presentation in two weeks, but we do not have anyone uh, for next week. So uh, let's discuss it by email within a day or two. It's, um, it's, it's not like big critical need if uh, no one wants, I can, I better do not promise, but I have something to show one day. <laughs> uh, and uh, let's implement changes and uh, get our hands free of, of this manuscript by sending them out and uh, focusing on new and interesting science. Any any comments, uh, criticism, suggestions? Okay, uh, many thanks. Many thanks for in, uh, inspiring uh, contributions and, and, and active discussions, I think. And, and please do not forget to add uh, Acknowledgement section and uh, um, first author is free to include whoever he or she likes to include into co authors. But if some people are not co authors but did help, then uh, at least mentioning the acknowledgement. Uh, and uh, later on, at, uh, before submission, I will add their funding and uh, computational facilities, but it's a uh, traditional style to have acknowledgement. Okay. Uh, many thanks. I suggest we uh, complete session. We complete the session now and uh, meet again in one week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, all. Bye.